guys, excuse my shit appearance today. Um, I've been home for just under a week. It's Monday today and I got back last Wednesday. Of course, I was a little bit jet lagged and everything and I also just wanted to have a little bit of a relax before starting work again and getting right back into it. So today is work day. If I look like shit, it's because I feel like shit. It's because I had a shit night, a shit sleep. First of all, I've been starting this keto diet finally. I know I mentioned to you guys like months ago. I <laughs> saw some professionals they wanted me to do keto or at least low carb. And for me, I decided that keto would probably be easier just completely cutting out carbs rather than like trying to moderate it. Because I hate moderating stuff too much. Like it's probably easier just to like cut it out, you know? Um, <clears throat> so I've been doing that and when you first start off with keto and stuff you always feel a little bit funny Like a little bit lethargic and tired and headachey sometimes and sometimes you're really hungry Although now that kind of has passed for me. I'm not so hungry anymore I'm just more tired than normal. My sleeping pattern is still a little bit effed up Like I don't even think it's like all keto. I think it's from jet lag as well still So last night I went to sleep finally at about one and then at about 1 30 I woke up because Louis was crashing into me he sleeps in the bed and he was like oh he's so trying to get up he's crashing into me and I was kind of half asleep I was like oh he must have fallen over the blanket and then I heard him like tumble out of the bed and run away and I was like hey Mish, I think he's like something's wrong and so Hamish got up and chased out like chased him out to see what was happening and he like vomited and he couldn't walk again so it was like the exact same thing that happened to me when I was um vlogging it last time the same thing happened so we stayed up with him for like close to an hour um and he was fine by the end of it he just like got comfy went to sleep his legs came back and everything so um this morning we actually like when we got back on Wednesday we booked him in to get his um little lumps on his side removed and we did that to try and get him in like while we were still like being lazy at home and like recovering from the trip but they didn't have any appointments till today, Monday. So, you know, this happened last night. Hamish still took him to the vet first thing this morning and just told them what happened. And the vet reckons it just sounds like some kind of seizures. Um, like, we're going to keep exploring it. But for now, we have to wait a week or two or three um, and get these tumors off. He obviously, you know, that surgery was cancelled. Um, so we need to wait till that's done. Then we have to send the little lumps away for testing to make sure he doesn't have like cancer or anything. And then if that comes back all clear, maybe we do some kind of like scans, like CAT scans and stuff on Louis to see if he's got anything wrong neurologically to cause the seizures and everything. But even if he has seizures, like the vet was just like, he'll be okay. You just need to like stay with him and make sure he's okay if it happens and you know, blah, blah, blah. But I like freak out, I'm like, what happens if it happens like when we're out? Like obviously I'm home most of the time, but what if I'm like at the gym or what if we're on a, you know, in town shopping? I don't know, you know. But anyways, it's given us food. He had no appetite this morning. Um, but he's eaten half of his food now, which is good. So yeah. That's the update with little Louie. He's honestly like fine right now. He's playing before and having a cuddle and everything. Here he is. Say hi. Everyone cares about you. He's looking out the window at the cat. <laughs> oh, he's so naughty. Um, yeah, that's the update with Louie. Very scary and awful. I just, I don't know. I appreciate all of your well wishes as well. I'm getting like, you know, suggestions on what could be wrong with him left, right, and center, and it's just really overwhelming. So I'm just trying to like trust the vets because, I mean, our vet saved Zeus's life when he was a puppy, so I have a lot of trust in him. But yeah, I feel like there could be a million different things. I just, I don't know. It's just terrifying to me and I'm so scared that he's got cancer or something. And those little bumps that's causing it, I don't know. I hope I'm just overthinking it. Every time I mention it to him, she is really mad at me. He's like, stop it. <laughs> Cause I don't think he wants to think about it either. But anyway, before I get too upset, <sighs> I'm on my period as well, which does not help the whole tiredness thing. Like, why would I choose the week that I'm getting my period to start keto? I don't know. It's a bit stupid if you ask me, but anyway. Eating keto is really weird. It's like going against everything I've been eating for the last few years. Like, I was eating very vegetarian based and now it's like fatty. Like, mostly fats, obviously, and a bit of protein. It's a bit weird. But anyway, I'll take you along on this journey with me. And I'm thinking about, you know, doing a video at the end if it does work for me. But I just, yeah, you know, my thyroid's busted. 
my hormones in general are busted you know the stress hormones cortisol that's all busted and then I always deal with bloating and stuff so theoretically you know the study shows that something like this should be good for my body because I can't just do low calorie anymore I used to do you know calories in versus calories out and that would not do anything which is so strange um but apparently kind of normal with the type of thyroid I have so I'm really hoping that this will help to kickstart my system you know no sugar I'm hoping that because I'm not having the sugar my hormones will have a chance to kind of like I don't know get better I don't know I'm just giving it a go let's see if it works for me um and let's just respect everyone's eating I know keto is very controversial for some reason I mean I used to even think it was really gross like I'd see my friends doing it and I was like that looks sick um but you know I can't really dismiss it without giving it a really good shot so here we are my goal today though is something that I've been struggling with this whole time ever since I've been in LA I've not been drinking enough water so I'm gonna fill up my big bottle today and really try to nail that water intake yeah my skin's just looking quite like you know my under eyes and everything are quite dark so usually that's a sign that I'm super dehydrated and I know on keto you're supposed to drink like quite a lot of water so that's my goal for today now the rest of the day I'm just going to be editing and that's pretty much it I'm not filming today I might film tomorrow or the next day but today I just want to get caught up on some vlogs for you guys and I'm really excited to show you guys what I got up to in LA by the time you see this video those videos will already be up but anyway so I oh god I forgot I've got weird I don't mind my eyeshadow it's just testing out a couple formulas <laughs> it's not a proper eye makeup look and not properly blended or anything don't judge me <laughs> it looks like shit I should wipe it off but me. Um, so I've drank a shitload of water. I've gone through my massive, I think it's like almost four liter bottle that Tart sent me. I've got like a third of it left. So that's good. Um, I've got a bit of a headache right now, which is strange. I think it might be just because I've been doing a lot of computer work. But anyway, time for a little bit more water. Don't mind the dusty bench. I need to wipe it down. Um, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Oh, I can probably show you this because... Sally would have received it by now, but look what I picked up for Sally at LA. Oh my god, it's not focusing. <laughs> you can tell what it is. Pusheen mug. I love it. Anyways, before I have my meal, my first meal, because I'm doing intermittent fasting still. Well, usually I do. Um, I put in maybe like a tablespoon. Into a little bit of water, because I can't stand it, so I just like to chug it. I'm just gonna like chuck it in the back of my mouth. I kind of don't really touch my teeth, but if you're not used to it, use a straw. Woo! Do you see my eyes watering? I'm counting all my calories at the moment, because um, I need to make sure I'm getting all my macros in and the right percentages of fat and protein, and making sure I'm not going over 20 grams of net carbs a day, which I've not done yet, which is good. Um, and some of you might be thinking like, oh, have you felt any different so far? I've only been doing it since last Wednesday. So it's only been how many days it is. It's Monday, I can't think. I definitely 100% feel less bloated. Obviously, I don't know if I've lost weight or measurements yet. I did take my measurements and weight and everything. Um, but the bloating is definitely getting better. It's still there, but it's so much better. Because you guys know me, if you watch my vlogs, I talk about bloating a lot. I'm always like, oh, I'm really bloated today. And, you know, like, I just bounce up and down with my bloating. Like, water retention and stuff like that. It's just always been a struggle of mine ever since probably puberty. Um, I am on my period right now as well. Normally on my period, my bloating would be way worse than this. So, I'm excited. Also, by the way, I'm still loving my period cups. So, yeah, they're amazing today i'm going to attempt to make an omelette i've never made an omelette before but i just feel like making one i don't know why i haven't had any cravings on the keto um and i think it's because normally when i want junk food i'm craving things like mayonnaise and cheese <laughs> so like instead of getting junk food i've just been having like cheesy food or instead of getting junk food i'll have like a mince salad with mayonnaise and it makes me feel like i'm eating a burger or like tacos i just add seasoning and stuff so I'm finding it like really, I don't know what this is, but it's really itchy. It's like a bite. Yeah, anyways, um, I'm not having cravings. You can tell by listening to me right now, I'm a little bit like, bleh. That's the keto brain right now. It takes like a week or two, I think, to get over all of like the brain fog weirdness. Like just, I just feel really dumb and weird. 
it's strange, but I'm sure it'll be worth it once I push through. Like I feel better in other aspects and I feel terrible in some aspects. Like I feel tired and not much energy and stuff. That's why I didn't go to the gym today. I went to the gym last week and I just think I overdid it because I was like dying. <laughs> I've kind of just stuck to like walking the dogs and stuff instead, but I don't know if we'll walk the dogs today just because of what happened to Louie last night. We'll see. It's 10 past two. I just gave Louie the rest of his food and he just ate it all up. He was quite hungry at this point, so um, I gave him a little treat as well. Hopefully it doesn't upset his tummy, but he looked hungry. Because this morning when I said he was eating, um, oh wait, was that in a vlog on my Snapchat? I can't remember. But he was eating this morning, but he only ate half of his breakfast, so. Just getting all my ingredients out so I can measure them up on my scales. And then I'm going to wipe down the bench once I'm done, because it is filthy and disgusting. I'm going to make a coffee as well. Actually, I might try a bulletproof coffee on camera, because I've been putting it off till now. I should really try it, because it's good to get your fats in, but I'm just like terrified because it looks disgusting. <laughs> well, scratch that because Hamish ate the rest of the eggs. <laughs> what do I have instead? I don't know. I've been having eggs like most days because it's like easy for me. I'm just like eggs, avocado, like spinach, whatever. It's easy because I'm still like, I don't know. I just don't really know. So instead I'm going to have some salmon and I'm going to um, cook up some vegetables and maybe some guac for my healthy fats. This has lots of healthy fats in it also. Look at this dickhead. <laughs> he doesn't even care. I don't hate salmon. I just, it's very rich for me. I can eat it sometimes when I'm in the mood. I love like salmon sashimi, salmon sushi, but like a steak of salmon, I'm just like, oh. But in saying that, when I do my avocado, it definitely cuts down the richness a lot. and makes it a lot more palatable for me. So it'll be fine. I had it already the other day and it was nice. But to eat the amount of salmon that I need to eat to get my protein and fat, it was just like a lot for me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So you can see um, this is avocado, salmon and broccoli, which I might add another vegetable yet, but we'll see. Um, a cup of broccoli couple hundred grams of salmon and half an avocado the carbs are actually lower than that because the net carbs which means you take away the fiber I think um, like I've probably only actually had about four carbs by the time I take the fiber out of the broccoli and the avocado because the avocado I think it's got like five so that takes it down to five already anyway and then um, 15 grams of fat here so I probably need to add some more fat so maybe some cheese or butter and then um, 41 grams of protein. Obviously it looks like I'm going over my goals, but that's only one meal so far. So these will come down. I'll show you at the end of the day how it looks. I'm also going to eat these three spares of asparagus just to give myself some more food to eat. Just, you know, want it to be nice and filling. Um, this is like one carb. So, time to get cooking. Here it is, and this is just over 400 calories. I used oil as well to cook in it, so that will add a few more. Um, and I used half the avocado, and I'll have the rest for dinner probably, or else Hamish will have it for dinner. I thought I might as well just make the whole lot straight away. 
Yum, I'm looking forward to that broccoli and garlic butter. It's like one of my favorite combinations. And the lemon avocado goes so good on top of the fish. So bulletproof coffee, I'm gonna attempt to make in my magic bullet. Let's see how it works. Honestly, it looks revolting. So butter and oil. I don't have this oil yet. I've got some coming in the mail. I might just add a tiny bit of coconut oil. Let's do it in the blender, okay. So I googled just one tablespoon to start of butter is about 15 grams, just under. So I'm gonna measure it out on my little scale. So I just tear this out. And then I've cut a hunk, let's see. Oh, almost bang on. So I wanna add butter, I mean oil to it now. I don't know, I don't know. Also, I don't know if this is hot water safe, but YOLO. Or maybe I should put a little bit of coconut in. I don't know. So I did about a half a serving of this because I'm not a huge fan of coconut butter. I mean, coconut, what is it? Oil, you know. Maybe it's just not plugged in. I don't know how, but it leaked. Ugh. So yeah, it's meant to go throffy. This is like two coffees. I overestimated that. I mean, it looks delicious. This is to help get your fat levels up, which is so weird, I know. Yeah, that's not like great to me. It's not awful, but it's not great. I feel like I'll be able to do it, but I don't know if I'll keep doing it. There you go. I just put in a little bit of unsweetened almond milk and I feel like it's better. I think it's like the froth is like so oily tasting. I'm just, ugh, weird. Maybe once it's like not frothy anymore, I can enjoy it. Bit of housework done. Just squeeze the shit out of my skin. Why did I do that? I'm gonna have to do a mask later to make sure I don't break out. Got four vlogs done. Four vlogs edited and the thumbnails done. Uh, went through two beauty channel videos and went through some emails and just some other little bits and pieces. I've got some flights to go see my cousin and my nieces. Um, what else did I do today? I think that's pretty much it. So I'm pretty on track. I've got a few things I need to do tomorrow and like pick giveaway winners. I'm gonna start filming. So hopefully I feel better for tomorrow to film. Um, I need to fake tan too. So yeah, we'll just take it as it comes. At least some of my mail turns up tomorrow. I've got heaps of stuff on. I hope coming. Look at like the state of me right now. Dirty hair, effed up makeup, bad skin. Now I'm going to play some cod. Hey bugs, come here. Come on. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Dally. I'm feeling very privileged because Zeus never comes for cuddles like this. Do you? What's going on? Oh, my first game of the night. I love this channel. Get a tension wrench in there. By the way, I'm eating my dinner. I made scrambled eggs with avocado, bacon, mushroom, cheese, spinach, heaps of spinach. And it's kind of all buried. <laughs> I could not even finish my eggs. I am so full. I got about like two thirds the way through, but I'll put the rest in the fridge in case I'm hungry later, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. It's 6.42 and I am full. Hamish made basically what I had for lunch today for his dinner. Looked good. So I'm currently wearing the Dermalogica Sebum Clearing Mask really like this one i've almost like well not run out but like i reckon i'm down to like the last like fifth or something in here it's such a good one it feels really minty it just helps to really clear my skin um because i do have like like where i picked today luckily it looks like they're not kind of like getting too inflamed but hopefully tomorrow morning i don't wake up with like big pimples from where i picked my face i honestly i know i should never pick my face but every now and then I just can't help myself and I always regret it. Um, I'm gonna do this mask and head to sleep. It's like 10 o'clock. I'll probably lie in bed and look on Reddit for a while. <laughs> Good night.